Hey, Derek, Triple E, Oregon. Tried to go crabbing the other day, couldn't get out of town. It's killing me. So I got some crab in the freezer, uh, froze from a trip here a while back. Um, I'll roll some video of catching those crab. We dropped some pots and pulled them a month ago. We've had the crab in the freezer. Um, you're curious how long crab will last in the freezer? I'll link a video down below and it'll explain how long you can keep crab in the freezer. It was a little questionable, but we did it anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something today. It's killing me not being able to get out of town. Crab cake sliders. Gonna put a little twist on the end too. Hopefully you'll like it. Stay tuned. Box number three. Doors are in good shape. We're filling them. Pretty full pot, all right. Oh, oh that's heavy. Oh, that was a lot too. Mm, nice, all right. Good job. We're gonna have to drop this one back in. No, we're going home. Like this is a good spot. Keepers! <laughs> Crab cake sliders, gonna throw together a uh, dressing to put on them when we're done. Uh, gonna be pretty simple. Gonna have some uh, mayonnaise. They say quarter cup, yeah, that looks like a half a cup. Got some company coming over later, so we'll probably make a lot more than what the recipe calls for. A little bit of, I can't pronounce it, so I'm gonna put it in there. They say Worcestershire. Wash your sister. Worcester. They Worcester. They say all kinds of things. So. Wash your sister sauce. Wash your sister sauce. Yeah, I get. He's got sisters. That's weird. A little bit of lemon juice. Not too much. Gonna do a little bit of brown mustard. I like uh, Dijon. And as far as the seasoning goes, we're gonna do um, paprika, quarter teaspoon. Paprika, I use a smoked paprika, uh, so a quarter teaspoon, so I'm gonna go a half because I got people coming over later. We're gonna do some um, cayenne pepper and Old Bay. This I believe is the spiced about a teaspoon of Old Bay, so I'll do two of these. Garlic powder. And my BFF, my usual suspects. Salt, pepper, and a little bit more garlic. Now we'll whisk this up. This will be our sauce to go on our sliders. So I'm going to let this go ahead and sit in the fridge for a while. We'll go outside here in a little bit and uh, we'll get our sliders going. Crab cake sliders. Uh, I hope you like them. Add a butter. A little squirt of uh, avocado oil. Onions. Peppers. I like the red bell peppers. They add really good color. Um, when we're making our crab cakes, there will be some good color in there. Like I say, this is killing me not being able to go out and go crabbing and cook out of the back of my truck every weekend like I want to. There's nothing I'm doing here that I wouldn't be able to do out of the back of my truck. That's why I cook outside on this stove and there's real minimal things I'm doing that everybody can do out of the back of their car or back of their truck. Because if I can do it, you can do it. So we'll let these brown up and we'll be back in a minute. While I'm getting these things sauteed up, my boy Chandler's going to go out and check the uh, smoker. 
we have a special treat that's gonna go on these sandwiches when we're done. Set this aside until we're ready. Okay, I'm gonna to throw together our mix for our crab cakes now. About a cup of mayo. A little bit of lemon, lemon juice. And the sauce that I cannot pronounce, I get in trouble for trying to. Worcestershire, Worcester, wash your sister, whatever they call it. A little bit of that, a little bit of brown mustard, Old Bay, about a half a teaspoon, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit more, a little bit of onion powder. Let's add in our whisked egg. So let's go ahead and mix that up a little bit. Once that's done, we're going to put a little bit of crab in there. It calls for one pound for this recipe. I think I'm going to do 1.5 pounds. A little bit of breadcrumbs. And we get to mixing. Something else I'm going to add here in a minute. I'm going to add those peppers and onions that we started off with earlier. They're now cooled down. I like to kind of fold this. I don't like to mix it really strong. That way there you get large chunks of crab meat. A little bit of celery that's been sliced up and I do have a little bit more crab in there I may add to this I may put two pounds of crab into this and we haven't told you what the secret ingredient is yet okay we're gonna come back in a little bit and get this stuff ready we gotta let it sit and chill for a while it's awfully cold out so it's probably chilled enough Get our buns ready. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, make a pretty hefty crab cake here. Can't forget the Swiss cheese. So, get our buns nice and toasty. Dressing that we made earlier. Crab cake made with Swiss cheese. We're going to do some avocado with lettuce. Avocado and lettuce. A little bit more salt and pepper on top. Take the top part of the bun. And 
D. You can't have none, okay? Usually I'd put tomato on this, but there's not a lot of room. I did put onion in the crab cake. Don't have a knife handy. Let's see if this works. Go get a knife. <laughs> crab cake. Mother fudger. It wouldn't be a video if I didn't forget something. What'd you forget? A secret <gasps> ingredient. We forgot the secret ingredient. Go get the secret ingredient. Oh my gosh. Boss we made earlier. Crab cake on there with some Swiss cheese. Lettuce. Avocado. And what would be a secret ingredient we could put on this? Hmm. Hmm. Smoked bacon that just came off the Traeger. What wouldn't be better but with bacon would be... Oh. Oh, it wouldn't be as good without bacon. So let's go ahead and put a little bit more of our secret sauce on top. Right yonder. Give it a little cut and see what it looks like. Crab cake with avocado and bacon. Oh, look at that. Peppers, big lumps of crab, avocado, bacon, our secret sauce. I'm drooling. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Oh, the crunch of the peppers, the crunch of the new lettuce we put in there. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't stop. I can't stop. Because if I can do it, you can do it.